Hi everyone, this is Keith with GravesiteBusiness.com. We offer a comprehensive business program on how to start and operate your own grave care business. And one of the services we feel you should offer is photography. And today I just want to do a quick video review of a new lens I picked up uh, for my digital SLR camera. Um, and I just wanted to show you a few um, of the aspects of this, cam of this lens and also give you a demonstration of how you can get a great depth of field with this lens. Now this is not an expensive lens and definitely uh, as your business grows you should consider buying um, higher quality lenses. But if you're just starting out, this lens is $100 and it offers a great range of depth of field um, for that price. Uh, that's why I picked it up, just basically as a, a demonstration model, uh, just to show you how well it works. Uh, Canon EF50, and it's a f-stop of 1.8. Um, so I just the, the first thing I noticed about the box is it's really not heavy. It's not a heavy lens, um, which actually is good because you don't really want to be lugging around a lot of heavy lenses in your camera pack. Um, it is fairly lightweight uh, as far as lenses go, but the, the build quality appears to be solid. Uh, I don't feel any rattles, uh, which is good. You don't want to feel that with the lens. So uh, this is basically a standard 50 millimeter lens. Uh, it does come with a, a backing cap and also a lens cap. This has a fixed focal length, so it is not a zoom. Uh, as I said before, it's a 50 millimeter. It does have autofocus, um, and it does have autofocus and manual focus. Uh, this is an EF and you'll need to line up the red dots uh, on your camera. Um, on manual focus you do have the ability to manually focus this uh, uh, this lens which is uh, pr pretty standard as far as lenses go. So I'm going to put it on the camera, uh, take it out to the cemetery and I'll show you some shallow depth of field results. I like this scene that I came across when I first drove into the cemetery. It's of some cemetery workers' tools. I think they were getting ready to be employed, raking out this dirt over a freshly dug grave. Uh, you can see the tombstone in the back is blurred out, has a nice shallow depth of field with a focal point, uh, focus point at, at the front of the photograph. Uh, this tombstone I thought was interesting. It's a uh, child who died in 1918 probably during the influenza epidemic. Um, the first shot had an f-stop of f22 giving a wide depth of field and this is at f1.8 giving a narrow depth of field. Um, this is a, a pretty neat picture. In this shot it's a wide depth of field and then I went to a narrow depth of field. I'm probably about two and a half feet away from her at this point. Um, but the lens does have a pretty decent macro on it. You can get to within about a foot and a half um, and then you can nicely blur out the scene. It's easy to see exactly what you want the viewer to see in that shot. Uh, then once again if you want to show the cross in the background uh, you can just open up the aperture or close down the aperture to f22 and have a wide depth of field. Uh, my camera does have video capability on it, so I switched it to video mode, and then I just changed the focus ring to show you uh, the wide range of depth of field. Uh, you can see that I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit further away than what the lens will allow you to get. Uh, you can see that I go out of focus all the way. I take it all the way to the end of the focus ability. Um, so I could actually get closer to her, but she, she comes in a nice sharp focus and then I can take her out of focus and throw the background into focus. Um, also showing you a shallow depth of field but in the back of the photograph. Uh, I, all in all I'm impressed with this lens. You know, it's it's a hundred dollars so I think it's great to add to your arsenal. It's a Canon EF 1.8 50 millimeter. Once again this is Keith with www.gravesitebusiness.com If you're fascinated with cemeteries and tombstones and if you have ever wanted to start your own business you might think about starting a grave care business. We have developed a comprehensive business course showing you how to start and operate a successful grave care business. You can learn more about the business course on our website 
www.gravesitebusiness.com.